Right, hello. I have this evening um, spent a bit of time submitting my Doctor Who magazine 60th anniversary poll figures for the third and fourth Doctor. And uh, it was a very interesting experience going through. Uh, I've watched a few of the old videos that we've done because I am nothing if not narcissistic. Mm. And uh, I had a go giggle. And the experience has been quite enlightening because here's broadly what's happened. Pertwee's stuff, first season gets average scores. Mm. Things plummet considerably um, across the board. Mm. And then kind of Sarah Jane comes in and everything gets rescued again with odd highlights. But I think I've only given one Pertwee a 10. I think I have. And that's the three doctors. I may have given the Green Death a 10 as well because that's really awesome. Um, and then Tom starts. And all the way up until Horror of Fang Rock, it's like 10, 10, 10, boom, 10. Android Invasion, 4. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. Then Horror Fang Rock happens, and it's like two, six, four. Do you know what I mean? And then also we've had City of Death. Creature from the Pit got eleven, obviously. You're just saying that. To I've upset. Easy. I know that that's not what happened. I've upset my wife On there. two accounts. Okay, I've upset my wife, but there we go. And then we've got to but this. There we go. How can you do that? I've upset my wife, but there we go. I've done a bad thing. Um, and now we've got to this season. Right, so here's the point I'm trying to make. Tom, right, Hinchcliffe years, outstanding. Like, genuinely outstanding. The Williams years, startlingly inconsistent. And then we've got this, and this is just so weird. Um, for any number of reasons. Like, all these kids on board the TARDIS, that is a weird thing to happen. Right? The TARDIS looks good, by the way. The TARDIS is looking good. But all these kids just on board the TARDIS, it feels way more vulnerable uh, than it has ever before. That's really bizarre. Just by letting these kids on. Adric is a most peculiar character. in terms. Now, let's... We're going to have to have a big chat about Adric at some point, but let's just think about him as a character. He has immediately ingratiated himself with Romana by just being good at maths. I mean, come on. I helped Winnie with her algebra homework the other day, and we were Boston, man. She didn't and do so well in the test, though, did she? No, she did really well in the test, and stopped being so bloody annoying, Karen-y parent about it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm not doing myself any favours over here. Really but Adric's a, Adric would not have turned up at any other point in uh, Tom's run. And then we get some awesome uh location filming the stuff inside the freighter um in the the room we get the same sort of camera shots that we had in the in the, uh, leisure uh, leisure hive <sighs> but this is of most peculiar story now john me or mucker john i've just been talking to paul and john via the mighty whatsapp and john made some reference to tom being somber at this um uh point in his tenure and I know, I agree, uh, John's right in that regard, and I know it's a popular consensus, but there are moments here that are so Tom, you know, when he's so pleasant to the Marsh child, um, uh, when the three uh, dudes in charge uh, introduce themselves, says, and I'm the Doctor. But it's weird how it gets a lost, and gets lost, because there's new voices, for want of a better word, new uh, influences and it's not all Williamsy tailored to Tom's whimsy. There's a really good sentence in there. Williamsy tend. Oh, I'll work it out later. So it's a bizarre sensation. Romana's class. Romana's really, really good. And, and this is one of the big revelations of the Who. I never fully appreciate just how great she is. And she's absolutely brilliant. But there's also, and this cannot get lost, a really good Doctor Who story here. Would you agree with that, Libs? Um, there's a potential for it, yeah. Uh, I, I find it a bit frustrating when there's a story where there's some race on Earth and then there's some other group of aliens or race or whatever. And yeah. Because they're othered, 
they're made out to be so terrifying and bad. But don't you think and the, the doctor's going to come and go? You see, they're all just really nice. And ah, I see. Saves everybody else. I see. Moving along, blah, blah, blah. Why do you need the doctor to come and do that? It's like bloody obvious. Isn't it? Okay. Okay, that's a fair comment, and we have had many stories that follow that template. Yeah. The spiders are abysmal. Let's just... Oh, my God, I'm down. I'm trying to wipe those from Yeah, me. we can't... I mean, on, we've not had spiders that bad from Planet the Spiders, yeah. or uh, Spiders in the World, as I've been reminded that Libby's called that, uh, which only got a four, by spiders the way. Spiders in the world! Spiders in the world! With still possibly the worst episode of Doctor Who that's ever been. Yeah. Um, mighty. So, yeah, this is... This is fascinating in so much as in following the chronological order of Doctor Who, this change is just so... I mean, I know we've had two stories already, but this now is like, whoa, whoa. Anyway, there we go. Farewell.